All right, so the next thing we're going to go over is tracks. Tracks are just breadcrumbs of where you're going, where you've been. You're essentially just drawing a line on the map. To start track recording, you just go up to Menu. At any time, you can go down here on the bottom right. You have the Record Track button. Click on that. And if you want to name it Day 1 Pre-Running, or if you're the folks actually building out the trail system, if you want to mark it day by day or, or name it something like that, you can uh, to give it some identification. So I'm just going to leave it the date timestamp, hit OK, and you can see it turns bright red, it starts recording down here, it's counting the time and the distance of the track. Now you can't see anything going on because we're not moving, but now as we drive around, you'll be dropping a blue track line of breadcrumbs wherever you go. I can go up to menu at any time and stop track recording. And that's it. Now you can see in our collection for the training trip, we have one track. And again, I can start track recording at any time. Hit OK. Hit anywhere on the map. Start driving around. Drop some more breadcrumbs. Go up to here. Stop. You can see the two tracks that we recorded. I can click on one. And under each track, you'll get some stats. You'll get time, distance, average speed, max speed, average elevation, and min-max elevation. And of course, down below, I can rename that, I can share it out, I can delete it, and I can convert it to a route, which we'll talk about in another class. I can back out of there. That's it. Again, tracks are pretty simple. They just help you mark out trails. They help you show where you've been. And we can turn those in LeadNav into routes that we can later edit and cut and splice and merge and make into complete trail systems.